shoes and that's really typical to Savat. Savat, the French developed style of kickboxing that originated as a form of street fighting. This time to France for a slightly snappy, high-stepping form of boxing the French call Savat. It's boxing with a kick to it. I am on a journey to uncover the secrets, techniques, and philosophy behind this extraordinary art form. The name Savat comes from the French word old shoe and it combines elements of traditional boxing with kicking techniques. Anyway, if you're not careful, you might say the wrong thing and put your foot in it. Or somebody's foot. It was a fighting uh, all people using uh, to fight each other. Savat is a fascinating martial art that showcases the rich heritage of French combat techniques. So my name is uh, Nicolas Seniak. I'm going back to Toulouse where I used to live and, and uh, compete. That, uh, that's where I discovered Savat as practice. I competed in the late 80s and so it's been 40 plus years that I've done uh, Savat. Toulouse is a vibrant city located in the southwestern part of France. It's the fourth largest city in the country and is known for its rich history, cultural heritage, and lively atmosphere. In Toulouse and other parts of France, Sabat likely gained popularity among the local population as a means of self-defense and recreation. As with many martial arts, Sabat was practiced both formally and informally with techniques passed down through generations. I like this confrontation, this form of confrontation, this opposition, and, and playing the mind game that allows me to win this mind game by using a variety of different techniques and strategies to strike more and uh, more uh, uh, pleasure and the uh, game aspect to this part as uh, driven by uh, martial art practice. And this is a lot of boxing, type boxing, which you can get or survive, of course. It's always been what uh, and, and what it gives you in terms of uh, you know, attributes, mental, physical. That's very good. You know the movie? And lots of small steps are always better. Le, le, le 
développement de la boxe anglaise professionnelle qui a porté un grand coup à la boxe française. Il um, really, like, the practice really diminished uh, between the first, uh, between the, the, the two world wars, uh, and even after the second uh, world war, so uh, 19, uh, 14, 1918, and then uh, 1939, 1945, uh, because a lot of, uh, uh, lot of trainers, a lot of uh, professors uh, died during the war, uh, because they were part of the military, and uh, also because of the rise of the professional English. changing the military during the two world wars it was uh, the practice was not using a lot of opposition um, so the front row was uh, talking about four faces so uh, four back rows and side side uh, all that in there and the practice was more individual uh, it's, it's really after the 1970s that uh, it started to change and, and uh, really becoming this idea of, of uh, sport of opposition of Salat uh, by yourself and not uh, having an opponent and really opposed uh, to us. Salat is uh, it's very good for some defense. Kick as much as you can and yeah. make as many damage as you can. Yeah, you know, everybody wears shoes uh, yeah. outside, right? So when you're talking about self-defense, that's a primary weapon. Uh, because it is a weapon. Really what makes Sabat what it is, is the fact that we use the shoes and that we strike with, uh, with all the different parts of the shoes. So the toes, uh, so you can pick to body, you can you know, reach um, much smaller targets because the striking area is much smaller than, you know, than, than the top of the foot of our machine. Yeah. In terms of defense, it makes it a lot harder to Toes, we use uh, top, beat step, okay, and that's it. We, we cannot uh, strike with kicking techniques with anything like this. So anything that's not the uh, part of this is not going to count. Uh, to complete, uh, to com yeah, complete any other martial 